Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord of my you, soul. Jesus. And all that is within me. Hallelujah. Praise your holy Praise name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Thank Lord, believers, Jesus. this morning, my God. Father, we praise Even as name. we sang that song, do you know yes, that you Lord. are singing scripture this morning? Yes, Lord. For in the book of Thessalonians, Hallelujah. my God, the Bible talk about my God, the shout of the Lord. My God, the shout of the archangel. Praise the name of the Lord. The trumpet sound that is going to be sounded. Praise the name of the Lord. And at the midnight cry. Hallelujah. The midnight Cry there simply means, my God, it doesn't speak about the timing of the day. My God. But what it signifies to, my God, it signifies to the end of this age. Praise the name of Hallelujah. the Lord. It signifies a closing of one age and an opening of another. Praise yes, the name Lord. of yes, the Lord. Lord. My God. At the midnight cry, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My God, Jesus will come again. Praise the name of the Lord. It Hallelujah. speaks about, my God, a transforming. Uh, my my God, a putting off of mortality this morning. Uh, my God, and putting on, putting on immortality this morning. Praise the name yes, of the Lord. Lord. A train off of the terrestrial. Uh, my God, and putting on of the celestial this morning. Praise the name of the Hallelujah. Lord. The signs of the times. My God, it is everywhere this morning. Yes, Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, my God, and as the ministers of Christ, my God, sound the trumpet this morning. Oh. They are announcing throughout the world. Praise yes. the name of the Lord uh, that Jesus Christ is about to put in his appearance this morning. Yeah. Get ready, get ready uh, for the bride of the bridegroom oh. of Christ. Uh, he's about to put in his appearance uh -huh. this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, ensure that your lamps, my God, is filled with my oil Lord, my and Lord. that your wicks are just properly well trimmed yeah, this morning, uh, and that you are waiting, uh, that you are watching this morning, uh -huh. my God, for the appearance, my God, for the of the bridegroom this morning. Amen. Oh. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning, believers, my God, it's a glorious Sunday morning. Uh, and yes. we thank God, my God, for sparing of life this morning. Uh, Papa, we God. thank him for his mighty delivering power. Yes, Lord. We thank him for provision this morning. We thank him for protection this Papa, morning. Papa, Hallelujah. Papa. I can feel the anointing of God. Papa, Praise Papa, the name Papa. of the Lord. And even as it go through the airwaves, my God, uh, and it saturate your homes, uh, my God, and it bring healing and deliverance and peace this this morning my god we pray god my god that you continue remain in this anointing this morning Praise amen the Lord. Hallelujah. this morning before i bring on god's man servant i would just like to extend a happy belated birthday greetings going out to sister rosalind mirage and also to sister andrea lopez this morning praise the name Hallelujah. of the lord we want to wish god's continuous blessings upon you praise the name of the lord and your household this morning we know that you are indeed blessed praise the name of the lord and highly favored by god this morning and we pray that his continuous divine favor continue to cover you and your household this praise morning the amen praise, praise the, the name of the lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believers, this morning I'm excited. Yes, to I hear, am. My God, where God has taken us this morning. Oh, Praise yes. the name of the Lord. And even as we listen to the news, my God, the news sometimes can become depressing. But it's important to listen to the news to know what's happening throughout the world. Amen. My God. And we realize that there's a new variant, my God, that they are uh, that they are concerned about. Praise the name of I the Lord. It know that it is signs of the times this morning believers we know that our redemption it is closer than before praise the name of the lord we know that we ought to be watching this morning praise the name of the lord so this morning believers we would like to see what the lord has prepared for us to eat upon his table this morning i'm talking about the bread the word of life this morning praise we would like to see what beautiful things he has prepared for us this morning praise the, the lord. direction that he's pointing us to go to this morning praise the name of the lord i thank him i, I love jesus this morning amen amen i amen, love him this amen, morning amen, praise the name of amen. the lord there is no greater love my god and a man that can lay down his life for his friends this morning amen, Pastor praise Jesus. the name amen, of the amen. lord he has called us friend this morning amen praise the lord my god there is no other friend upon the earth that would do that for you this morning my god my god but jesus praise oh, the name yes. of the lord what a friend we have in him this oh, morning yes. amen Hallelujah. praise the name of the lord this morning believers my god help me welcome at this point in time god's man servant is going to break the bread of life to us all this morning 
Reverend Bishop Reverend Carl Sandrews. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise and we give you honor. We give you glory. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Father, there is none like unto you. There is none to take your place. There is none to stand before you. Worthy are you, Lord, and worthy to be thanks and praise, to be worshiped and to be adored. Praise the name of the Lord. At the midnight cry, we will be going home. Praise the name of the Lord. At that midnight cry, we will be going home. And as Pastor Michel said, you know that we ought to make sure that our lamps are being trimmed. And uh, my God, that it's probably well oiled. Praise the name of the Lord. So that our light will not go out. Or our light will not be in that. That we will not be walking in darkness. Even at the time of that midnight cry. Amen. Amen. Because we know midnight can be very dark. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, so you need, my God, you need a light. Praise the name of the Lord. To, you need to make sure that you have that light. Hallelujah. So that you can be selected. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to understand the angels of God, the hallelujah, the spirit of God will only select you if you have that light. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Let me praise the name of the Lord. Extend greetings again to um, Facebook land and all those that are out in Facebook world. Praise the name of the Lord. It's indeed a wonderful privilege that we have this morning that we can come to you. Praise the name of the Lord to share the word of God. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Welcome all those of you that are out there. We are asking you to share the life. Praise the name of the Lord. For those of you that are on Facebook, you have your friends, you have your loved ones. I know that those of you who are in the, our Zoom room, which we expect all believers to be in the Zoom room. Praise the name of the Lord. In um, We want you to praise the name of the Lord. We know that you would have shared the um, the links and uh, for your family members, for your children, praise the name of the Lord. It is a mean of evangelism. You individually in the, uh, um, evangelizing and you individually, um, praise the name of the Lord, reaching out to your loved ones so that they can hear the word, so that they can be saved also. It is, um, praise the name of the Lord. It is all about sharing. And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, that the principle of you, the principle for you to receive, it is when you learn how to give. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So share the life. If for those of you that are on the Facebook, um, praise the name of the Lord. And I know some are in Zoom and some are in faith. And praise the, but I want I, I I always tell you that all should be in Zoom, but you can have another device on Facebook. So you can have both device. Praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who only have one device, I will prefer that you are in, I will prefer that you are in Zoom. I know that sometimes people have problems and they go on the Facebook, but um, um, if you have that problem and you have to go on Facebook, so be it. But I praise the name of the Lord. I encourage you to make sure that you are in the um, room with us. Praise the name of the Lord on Zoom. You know, on Thursday, I am... Um, I praise the name of the Lord and uh, um, please uh, for the folks and I'm saying this again, please for the folks that are on Facebook and on Zoom, it's okay for you to be on both. Praise the name of the Lord. It is okay for you to be on both. It is okay. Praise the name of the Lord. We have no problem with that. We encourage that also if you are if, if you want to be on both, so be it. Praise the name of the Lord. You have the device and you want to run two devices at the same time. Praise the name of the Lord. To God be the glory. But the objective, it is making sure that you receive the word of God. It is the objective is making sure that you hear the word of God. I know some of you will also want to be on two um, devices because you will want to share for all those who will want to um, have your group chat your um uh, your group um 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 and you will want more or less your friends and your loved ones to hear the word of god but today praise the name of the lord we want to go back into the word of god and on thursday i would have been sharing with you or we discuss a bit on thursday the um judgment of nations and we discussed the judgment of nations and I told you that today we'll be doing a comparison because what is happening here, you have a more or less, um, sometimes people are being confused with the different judgments that are there in scripture. 
but it's important to know that there are approximately seven judgments. When you study the Word of God, you will see that there are seven judgments in of Scripture. And for those of you who are taking note, I hope that you have your Bibles, that you are writing. Remember, praise the name of the Lord. We are a teaching ministry. Praise the name of the Lord. And we hope that you are taking note, praise the name of the Lord, of what is being taught. Praise the name of the Lord. There are seven judgments of Scripture. I want you to note, praise the name of the Lord, that the Scripture do not teach that there is a general judgment of all righteous and wicked at the same time and place. The scripture don't teach that. And I want to repeat that, praise the name of the Lord. For those of you that are writing, that the scripture do not teach that there is a general judgment of all righteous and wicked at the same time and place. The scripture don't teach that. Praise the name of the Lord. There will be angels and different classes, and I want you to understand that. For those of you who are writing, praise the name of the Lord, that there will be angels and different classes of men to be judged, and each class will be judged separately. Each class of person, each class of person will be judged separately. I want you to take note of that. And I'm asking, praise the name of the Lord, for those of you, when you come on, let take off your mics. Praise the name of the Lord immediately. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want you to take note of that there again. That there will be angels and different classes of men to be judged. And each class will be judged separately and at different times. They'll be judged separately. And I want you, for those of you who are taking note, I'm saying that again. That there will be angels and different classes of men to be judged. And each classes or each class will be judged separately at different period or separate or separate uh, uh, and different times. Praise the name of the Lord. It will not be the same time. There has been and will be, there has been and will be seven, seven judgments for angel and men. Seven judgments for angels and for men. And uh, I want you to take note of these seven judgments as follow, because today we are looking at the comparison or a contrast between the um, judgment of nation and the white throne judgment. That is the judgment that most believers keep in mind, because in our teaching, our church teaching, um, in, in theology, definitely, and in eschatology, you will have to understand the seven judgment. But in the church teaching, because of sometimes how we preachers will preach the word of God, uh, when we preach, you only see you only see the white throne judgment. So sometimes when you observe certain things or certain judgment in scripture, it makes you it confuses you because you don't know where to place that judgment in scripture but my god we are a teaching church and what we do it is not just preach the word of god but we teach the word of god so i told you that there are seven i told you that there are seven praise the name of the lord judgments in 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 in, 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 in scripture and these seven judgments they are as follow one the judgment of the believer's sin and we will talk about that another time the second one it is uh, the believer's judgment of himself the believer's judgment of himself the third one it is the judgment of the believer's work praise the name of the lord the judgment of the believer's works the fourth one it is the judgment of israel the judgment of Israel. So Israel will have a judgment, my God. Israel will also have a separate judgment other than the judgment that those who die out of Christ will experience, my God, at the white throne judgment. But I want you to understand that Israel of herself will be called to, to be judged. We will see that in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, praise the name of the Lord. But we are not going there, so we will leave that for another time. You will also see the judgment of nations. And that is the judgment that we are talking about here right now, that we will compare or in contrast to the white throne judgment this morning praise the name of the lord you also have the judgment of angels you have the judgment of angels that you will see in second peter and you will also see it in jude we will talk about that another time that is the judgment of angels 
and you have then you have the white throne judgment you have the white throne judgment which is the last judgment on the list the white throne judgment which is a judgment that when when believers um, read the Bible, they only think about the white throne judgment. But today, praise the name of the Lord, we want to look at a few points of contrast to the judgment of nation and the great white throne judgment. We want to look, praise the name of the Lord, I hope that you are taking note, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, because we are in Bible studies, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. A few points uh, of contrast to the judgment of nations and the white throne judgment, praise the name of the Lord. And the first thing that we will look at, praise the name of the Lord, and I want you to observe, praise the name of the Lord, remember the judgment of nation it is in matthew 25 from verses 31 to 46 so you will write that down matthew 25 you will not read that from verses 25 to from verses 31 sorry to 46 praise the name of the lord so the judgment of nations there you will see praise the name of the lord if you look at the first verse hallelujah of, of matthew 25 verses 31 praise the name of the lord if you look at verses 31 the bible reads there and the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and, uh, and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And if you look at verses 2, it said, And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he will separate them one from the other, as a sheep divided his sheep from the goats. So you are seeing here, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, my God, uh, in the judgment of nations, when judgment nations will be judged, sometimes people get mixed up, my God, with the goat nations and they believe it is the white throne judgment, praise the name of the Lord. But I want you, praise the name of the Lord, to look at this contrast here as you read, hallelujah, Matthew 25 from verses 31 to 46, praise the name of the Lord, the Bible teaches, hallelujah, Hallelujah. That these nations will be living people. Praise. Will be living, my God. They will be alive. Praise the name of the Lord. They will be living nations. Hallelujah. Because the Bible teaches here, as we read just now, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He shall call the nations together. Praise the name of the Lord. But if you look at the, the, the great white throne judgment, hallelujah. The great white throne judgment, I want you to take note of that. It will be the wicked dead or the wicked dead will be resurrected to be judged so you're seeing one judgment with nations of living people and you're seeing a second judgment hallelujah with the wicked dead to be resurrected and you know we love praise the name of the Lord to teach from the word of God so I want you to turn your Bibles with me to the book of Revelation praise the name of the Lord Revelations come on Revelation chapter 20 from verses 11 to 15 and for those eschatologists that are out there, praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who are in with us, we praise the name of the Lord. We welcome you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As we teach, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord briefly on the judgment of nations. And we do that comparison between the great white throne judgment and the judgment of nations. So we are looking at Revelation chapter 20 from verses 11 to 15. And in Revelation chapter 20, from verses 11 to 15, the Bible reads, I said that my God, this judgment, the, the white throne judgment, it will be the judgment of the wicked dead who will be resurrected. Praise the name of the Lord. So let us look from verses 11 to 15. And I saw a great white throne, and that is the reason why it is being called the white throne judgment. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away, and there was found no place for them. And there was found no place for them. But somebody, before I go on, I want you to note something. I want you to know, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, that these judgments, all the, these judgments, the judgment of nations and the white throne judgment, all of this is going to happen, hallelujah, 
after the church leave this place mm -hmm. and we sang this morning the midnight cry mm -hmm. and my god hallelujah we will we will be leaving this place at the midnight cry mm -hmm. somebody these things mm -hmm. or these judgments and not all the judgment but the judgment of nations mm -hmm. the white throne judgment mm -hmm. these judgments mm -hmm. is gonna happen my god and even my god judgment of angels mm -hmm. and my god in some of the classes of the judgment that will happen after the church is being raptured, after we are being taken away. So we want to see what is going to happen. Praise the name of the Lord. And the, what is what, my God, we are looking at a contrast of the of, of, of living being judged, which is the living nation and also the wicked dead being resurrected to be judged. So let us look at verses 11 again. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, whose face the earth and the heavens fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, and I want you to look at this, hallelujah. I want you to look at this, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. I saw the dead, small and great, the dead, hallelujah. The dead, the, the dead, my God, the dead could have only stand before God because they would have been resurrected, hallelujah. They would have been resurrected. And this is what also is being called the second resurrection. You have the first resurrection and you have the second second resurrection praise the name of the lord so my god so praise the name of the lord so we are going again the the, 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 the writer said there hallelujah the bible said it and i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of these books which were written out of these books according praise the name of the lord oh my god out of these things which were written in the books according to their works according to their works so we are seeing here that faith is good hallelujah we are seeing here praise the name of the lord it is good to have faith in god but our works also will be tried praise the name of the lord our works the way you behave the things that you do here the life that you live how much you do for god hallelujah i want you to understand praise the of the Lord, but the works here, hallelujah, my God, that will be judged, it is my God, it is everyone live for Christ or everyone live for the devil, that is the judgment that will be taking place here, my God, if you live for Jesus or if you live for the devil, if you live in righteousness or if you live in sin, praise the name of the Lord, if you look at verse 10 and the sea, and I want you to see here, it is dead, it is dead people that will be resurrected resurrected to stand before the white throne judgment and not living people come out and out look at and the sea give up its the, the dead which were in it and death and hell deliver up the dead which were in them and they were judged according according and they were judged every man according to their works and they will judge every man according to their works and look at this I want you I want you to look at that again the sea gave up the dead which were in it hallelujah so my God don't matter if you die on the sea it don't mean that you you, you get away from it come on somebody because the sea is going to give up the bodies that drown in the sea hallelujah and my God and and, and death and hell give my God deliver up the dead which were in them it means all those who die and go down to hell my god all those who die out of christ in sin and end up in Hades my god Hades is gonna give up all those dead that are in hell come out about I want you to understand there will be no righteous man that my god that will be in hell come out about it to, to be absent from this body for us to be absent from this body for the child of God it is to be present with the Lord 
But somebody, for those who are not children of God, to be absent from this body, it is to be with the devil. In it. it is to be in Hades. It is to be in hell. Hallelujah. And somebody, my God, we see that death and hell is going to deliver up the dead which are in them. And, 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 they, and they which judge. And, 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 and they will judge every man according to his works. Every man will judge according to his works. My God. What does this mean? My God, there will be two books. A book of life and a book of remembrance. And the book of remembrance will have, my God, a reminder of all the wrong things that you do. And my God, hallelujah. And if you die in them, my God, you may have done some wrong things, man. You may have done some wrong things, woman. But if you repent, then your name will be taken out of the book of remembrance but if you continue to do the wrong things and you die in doing the wrong things I want you to understand your book your name will be in the book of remembrance and my God you will die and wake up in hell the Bible said that the man Lazarus who lived for Jesus he ended up in Abraham's bosom and the rich man who lived for the devil he wake up in hell I want you to understand, hallelujah, my God, it is time to take your name out of the book of remembrance and make sure that it is in the book of life, hallelujah, when you accept Jesus, your name is being placed in the book of life. When you accept Jesus, hallelujah, your name is in the book of life. But somebody, as we go along, my God, we can make errors. We can make mistakes. We may sin against God in thoughts, in our words, or in our deeds. But somebody, hallelujah, that every time we sin, it goes in, my God, God have the largest database the largest database that any man have seen or know of is in the heavens and the angels they are recording everything that you are doing the angels they are recording everything that you say and I want you to understand if what you're saying and doing is not according to the will of God it is in the book of remembrance but how can you take your name out of the book of remembrance and make sure that it's only on the book of life you can only do so to repentance this is the reason why Jesus came so that my God so that you so that God has that God had made a way for you hallelujah there is a way hallelujah my God that God made for you but there is also a way that seems right unto a man but the end of that way it is death but somebody hallelujah you can take your name out of the book of remembrance hallelujah Yep. My God, only if you repent for the sins that you have committed, the sins that have separated you from God. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are seeing here that all the dead, it's not the living. It is not my God, the, the judgment of nation. The judgment of nation is living nations. Praise the name of the Lord. But somebody has seen the dead. Look at verses 40. Praise the name of the Lord. We are in verses 40. Remember, we are reading up to 15. And, 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 and the dead and the hair were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And the dead and, 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 and the dead and the dead and the hair were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So I shared with you just now that this, my God, my God, hallelujah. This is the second, praise the name of the Lord. I, I want to read it again. And, 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 and and that and a hair were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, who was not written in the book of life? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And somebody, I love that. I want, I want to go to easy there. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. What does this mean? Praise the name of the Lord. 
It means, my God, the name, hallelujah, is not on the book of life, so it is in the book of remembrance. Hallelujah. Those are they that die out of Christ. Those are they who accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and they were running well, but they allowed the devil to handle them. They allow Satan, praise the name of the Lord, to stop them from running the way God wants them to run. So the first contrast that you're seeing there, it is a living nations, hallelujah, in contrast to wicked dead being resurrected to be judged. Hallelujah. The second one, for you to know, praise the name of the Lord, I hope that you're taking note. The second one for you to note, hallelujah, it is, uh, my God, the the judgment of nations will be before the millennium. The judgment of nations will be before the millennium for so the millennium for those who are writing. And the judgment of and the great white throne judgment, it will be after the millennium. So you're seeing one judgment before the millennium, and you're seeing another judgment that is after the millennium. I want you to take note of that. Praise the name of the Lord. But one may ask, praise the name of the Lord, a Bishop, what is the millennium? The millennium simply means one thousand year. And that one thousand year, it is one thousand year that God has set up, praise the name of the Lord, where the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, when he comes with us the saints after we have been raptured with to meet him in the air and my God and we go to be forever with him we will then come back with him we will fight the battle of Armageddon you will have the judgments of nations and you will have all we will fight against the, the antichrist and we will declare war with, uh, with Jesus against the antichrist and my God and then we will go on to reign with him for 1,000 years. In that 1,000 years, the devil will be locked up for that 1,000 years. And my God and Jesus, hallelujah, and we the saints of God will be getting my God, Jesus, hallelujah, have a duty to get rid of all rebellions. Hallelujah. Somebody, the problem in the world today it is rebellions. I say the problem in our world today it is rebellion and Jesus hallelujah 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 Jesus was sent to teach us hallelujah how to to, 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 to repent and, and turn our lives around and, and stop being rebellious unto God and, and to learn how to obey God because I want you to understand hallelujah Jesus was obedient unto the Father even unto death and the Bible teaches, let the same mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. But somebody, hallelujah, my God, in that process, it continues. Where well, my God, he's going to come again. He said, at my father's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you, I'm going to prepare a place for you. I'm going to come again and receive you unto myself. And that where I am, there you maybe also. So Jesus has promised to come and take us out of this place. But after he takes us out of this place, he has to bring us back here to fight the battle of Armageddon and somebody, my God, hallelujah, after the battle of Armageddon is being fought and my God and judgment is being passed, come out tomorrow upon those who are alive. I want you to understand hallelujah. We will then move on to the millennium period, that one year period, hallelujah, a reign of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with the saints, hallelujah, Father we give you the praise, I said to you, that is the second contrast, it is that the judgment of nation will be before the millennium, and the judgment, hallelujah, and the judgment, hallelujah, of the great, the great white throne John judgment, it will be after the millennium. So one is before and one is after. And you got to understand the contrast so that you will better be able to understand the judgments and you will not confuse them. Praise the name of the Lord. So look, hallelujah, with me. Look with me in Revelations 20 from verses 1. Revelations 20, we are reading from verses 1. Praise the name of the Lord, Revelations 20 verses 1, 
praise the name of the Lord. Revelation 20, we are reading from verses 1. If you have it, praise the name of the Lord. I'm about to say, say amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's okay for you to work that thing. When you have it, you can amen. you can put a thumbs up. Praise the name of the Lord. We are in church. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's okay amen. for you to do so. Amen. Hallelujah. But we are in Revelation chapter 20. Amen. From verses 1. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing those thumbs up. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are reading from verses 1. So we are looking amen. that this white throne judgment is... It is uh, my God. It is after the millennium and not before. But the judgment of nations would have been before. So look at verses 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the keys of the bottomless pit, and, and, and a great chain in his hand. And a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon. And I told you, this, I want you to take note of this in verses and in, in verses two, yeah. and he laid hold on the dragon, yeah. that old serpent, yeah. which is the devil yeah. and Satan. So he lay all on the devils. He lay all on that old dragon, which is the devil and Satan. Hallelujah. And he bound him for how long? He bound him for how long there? For 1,000 years. So you see here that the devil will be bound for 1,000 years. I want you to keep that in your mind. So that you must always remember that in the millennium period, the devil will be bound for 1,000 years. Praise the name of the Lord. We are talking about and we are looking oh praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, at the, the white throne judgment in contrast to the judgment of nation. Praise the name of the Lord. So you see the devil here is being bound for a thousand years. Look at verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he shall deceive the nations no more. So he will have no power for a thousand years to deceive the nation as he's doing now. Till the thousand years shall be fulfilled. Till the thousand years shall be fulfilled. So what you're seeing here, it is that my God, for that thousand years, they will have to put a seal on him. And I know that you look at movies, my God, concerning Egypt, and you see that there are seven demons that is have to put a seal on. Because if they don't put a seal on those graves, on those demons, my God, the demons can, they believe that the demons can come out of there and hurt people and do things. And Rome, I want you to understand, listen, what you're seeing here, it is my God, a seal. A seal that is being placed, my God, on 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 on, 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 on Satan. A seal that is being placed on him, so that he's probably well seal. And the Bible teaches he's probably well seal. Why? So that he can he shall deceive the nations no more. So no more for that thousand years until the thousand years should be fulfilled. And the Bible teaches that after that he must be loose for a little season. Come on, I want you to look at that. After the thousand years is being fulfilled. He will be loose for a little season. So what we are seeing here, it is after the millennium of a thousand years, the devil will be loose for a little season. He will be loose for a little season. And let us see what happened there after that. And the my God. And after, praise the name of the Lord, the, the thousand years and the devil being loose for a little season. My God, look at verses 4. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the soul. We are talking about, about the white throne judgment here now. And I want you to praise the name of the Lord to be taking note. We are talking about the white throne judgment here now. And I saw thrones. And they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw and I saw the souls of them that will be headed for the witness of Christ. And I, come on, I want you to look at that. I want us to take our time. Praise the name of the Lord with that. Hallelujah. And I saw thrones and they, that, and they sat upon them and judgment was given. Hallelujah. And judgment, hallelujah, my God. I'm, I, I, I just want to take my time. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the 
souls of them that will be added for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast neither is mark neither had received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands and they live and reign with Christ a thousand a thousand years so what you're seeing here is we the saints of God and even those hallelujah who did not take the mark that is after we leave here and they, they, they refuse to take the antichrist mark those who were martyred for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we are seeing them here sitting on thrones and they are reigning hallelujah with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for that thousand years father we give it the praise hallelujah but let us look at verses 5 and the rest of the dead they live not again until the thousand years are finished so that is the point I want you to look at but the rest of the dead they live not again until the thousand years are finished this is the first resurrection this is the first resurrection so what my God what the Bible is saying is that the first resurrection would have been ending the first resurrection of all the righteous uh, hallelujah who live for God would have been ended and my God and if you look at verse 6 come on look at verse 6 with me praise the name of the Lord and I told you it's okay you praise the name of the Lord when you want to give a thumbs up you can do so praise the name of the Lord hallelujah if you look at verse 6 blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrected on such the second death had no power but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign and shall reign and shall reign and shall manage hallelujah with him for a thousand years we shall reign with him blessed are they that take part in the first resurrection we are talking about the Old Testament saints here we are talking about the the the, the the, 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 the raptured saints uh, which we are uh, we will hallelujah if, if Christ should talk, if Christ should come now we will be the raptured saints for those we are talking about praise the name of the Lord the saints hallelujah my God who die in Christ now they will be raptured hallelujah but if Christ now come now we will be changed hallelujah if Christ should come now we will be changed in the twinkling of an eye but those who die in Christ they will be resurrected hallelujah to meet us but they will be resurrected to meet Christ in the air and we will hallelujah together with them meet him to go hallelujah to live with him forever hallelujah father we give him the praise so the bible is straight in here hallelujah that they shall reign with Jesus a thousand years a thousand years look at verse 7 and when the thousand years were expired I want you to look at that we are, we are taking our time praise the name of the Lord we, make, we will continue we, make, we will continue this on Thursday praise the name of the Lord because folks we want to take our time we want to make sure that all our listeners whatsoever part of the world that you that you might be that you understand we are going to through the word of God, nothing less than the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You gotta, we got to prove all things in the word of God and we got to hold fast to that which is good. We got to study to show ourselves approved unto God. A workman need not to be ashamed but to rightly divide the word of truth. So we are dividing the word of God with you as we look at the astrology praise the name of the Lord that deals with the, the judgment of nations that in contrast to the judge, to the white throne judgment. So we are looking at verse 7. Praise the name of the Lord. That is of the verse 7 of, 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 of Revelation chapter 20. And when the thousand years is expired, something happened. Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. And, and look at what is going to happen there. Satan will be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. Yeah. Gog and Magog yeah. to gather them together to battle yeah. and the number of whom is uh, as the sand of the sea yeah. so what you are seeing here yeah. is that there will be people yeah. who will be waiting 
and they will be waiting my God for their for their leader to be released from that pit so that they can follow him or continue to follow him so you're seeing here my God that thousand the Bible said hallelujah my God the number of whom the number of whom is as the sand of the sea so you're seeing my God my God, many thousands of people, my God, like the sand of the sea, for that thousand years, they will be only waiting and hoping, my God, for the leader to be risen so that they begin to, so that they can be, so that they can follow or continue to follow that evil. My God, look at verses 9. And they went up to the breadth of the earth, and they come past the, 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 the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city, and fire came down, I want you to look at that, and fire came down out of heaven, and devoured them. Fire came down out of heaven and devoured them, and, and, and fire came down out of heaven, or from God out of heaven and devour them. Verses 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beasts and the false prophets are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So you're seeing the devil here now is being locked up forever and ever. My God, no, my God, hallelujah. A permanent seal is being placed in that, and he's locked up forever and ever. No more opportunity to test and to tempt us and my God and to cause us to be led into sin my God and cause us to go on that path of destruction and cause us to go on that way that seems right unto man but the end of that way it is death you're seeing the devil here now he's locked up hallelujah verses 11 so on verses 11 which we read after the devil is being locked up we read just now from verses 11 on to verses 15 the Bible reads here and I saw a great white throne so it's after the devil is being locked up you see now the white throne judgment and that white throne judgment is to deal with all those who, who die out of Christ hallelujah we see hallelujah my God and I saw a, a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away and there was found no place for them and I saw the dead small and great stand before God and the books were open and another book were open which were the book of life and the dead were judged out of these things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up the dead that were in it and death and hell deliver up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works and the dead and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire and that is or oh, this is the second death and the whosoever was not found written in the book of, of life was also cast into the lake of fire hallelujah oh father we give you the praise so what we are seeing here it is after, hallelujah, after, praise the name of the Lord, the devil is being cast, after the devil is being cast into the lake, into hell forever and ever, you're seeing here the white tone judgment. So the white tone judgment here now is at the end of the thousand years, the end of the millennium, or after, sorry, should I say after the millennium, and the, if you look at the judgment of nations it is before the millennium praise the name of the Lord what you will see also in both judgment the judgment of nations and the judgment hallelujah and the, and, and the white throne judgment you will see that in the judgment of nation that the son of man which is Christ the son of man Jesus he would have been the judge for the judgment of nations but what you will see hallelujah my God is as you read there in, in, in the white throne judgment, you will see God, hallelujah, is uh, God is the one, the Father is the one that, that is judging, hallelujah, all those, hallelujah, that die 
all those that die out of Christ. Look at me mm -hmm. in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31. Mm -hmm. Look at Matthew 25 and verses 31. Mm -hmm. We are looking at the judgment of nation here. Mm -hmm. And we will see who will be doing that judgment. Mm -hmm. That is Matthew chapter 5 and verses 31. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew 5 and verses 31. Praise the name of the Lord you have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said it's okay to give me a thumb up. Yeah. But I'm reading 31. Yeah. When the Son of Man, and I want you to look at that. Yeah. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, yeah. and all the holy angels with him, yeah. then shall he sat on the throne of his glory. Yeah. And then it goes on to say, and before him yeah. shall be gathered all nations. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So you are seen in the judgment of nation. Yeah. You are seeing God the Son, yeah. the Son of Man, yeah. is doing this judgment. Yeah. But if you look at, praise the name of the Lord, yeah. at, at Matthew again, yeah. verses 20 from verses 11, yeah. you will see God the Father, praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I want you to look from verses 11 yeah. at Revelations, yeah. praise the name of the Lord, chapter 20. Yeah. from verses 11 praise the name of the Lord we are going back there yeah. remember we are teaching yeah. we are a teaching church yeah. and my God we must be able hallelujah yeah. to we must be able to we must be able hallelujah yeah. to, 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 to justify yeah. what the word of God is saying from the word of God amen yeah. praise the name of the Lord it must be in context praise the Lord yeah. so look at Revelation 20 verses 11 come on look at verses 11 again yeah. read from 11 to 15 just now yeah. and I saw a great white throne yeah. and him that sat on it yeah. from whose face the earth yeah. and the heavens fled away yeah. and there were found in no place for them and I saw the dead small and great they stand before who yeah. who they stand before them yeah. they stand before God yeah. and when you look in the Greek yeah. you will see that God there it is speaking about God the Father yeah. you see Jesus hallelujah I want you to understand that sin has separated us from God. Yeah. And when God the Father came down, hallelujah, yeah. when God, we know that God is plural, yeah. but we have three persons, hallelujah, in the Trinity, yeah. God the Father, God the Son, yeah. and God the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But sin has separated us from the Father. Yeah. Sin has separated us even from the Father, praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, the Bible teaches us sin has separated us from God, hallelujah, yeah. but God is plural there, hallelujah. Yeah. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, Jesus had to get rid of sin. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody yeah. is saying they're having some technical difficulty. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope that you get through. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope that you that you get through. Praise the name of the Lord. Could um could um you give me a thumb up, folks? Give me a thumb up if you are hearing clearly. If everything is okay on your side, praise the name of the Lord. Just give me a thumbs up. If, if you, praise the name of the Lord. So everything is okay. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm seeing those thumbs up. So everything is okay. Praise the name of the Lord. But I hope in that. And um, um, the, the person who's having that technical difficulty, I hope that you um, get get over it. I'm seeing. Praise the name of the Lord. Even even um, um, Minister Poulton and they they uh, get him clearly. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, we have all of those folks. In, I've seen folks in Ahokna, which you have a lot of problem there sometimes with the internet. They uh, are saying everything is good there. And uh, praise the name of the Lord, Sister Abigail, and all the others who have the thumbs up. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you so much. Praise the name of the Lord. So, so praise the name of the Lord. So we are looking, hallelujah, at Jesus, the Son, being the judge, uh, hallelujah, who is judging the nations, and God the Father, with all the rest, hallelujah, is judging in the white throne judgment. So look at that again. Look at verses 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, they stand before God, and the books was open. And the books was open. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing um, Minister Sheena. I'm seeing that you're saying on Facebook, everything is good. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are seeing here, they stand before God the Father. They're standing before God the Father. I want you to understand that is a serious judgment. And I want you to know the white throne judgment. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, I want to kind of narrow down here because I said we will continue this message. But I want you to understand this and this about it. The white throne judgment is so serious. 
the white on judgment it is not my god to, it is not to tell people it is not my god it is not to, to give people the opportunity to justify themselves praise the name of the lord praise the lord pastor michel huh? it is not my god a judgment praise the name of the lord for pardon it is not a judgment, my God, that will that will say that okay, the, the, the record we have here it is saying this about you, but we missed this part when you repented. I want you to understand, listen, Mr. Body, there is something to call the my God, the believer judgment of himself. And the believer judgment of himself is now. What does this mean? It simply means that you have to judge yourself now and know whether you are fit for heaven or if you are fit for hell. I want you to understand God has given you the power of choice and he made you a free moral angel and he gave also to you his word so that you will know what is right and you will know what is wrong. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is the reason why he will judge you out of the book. He will judge you out of the book that he has given to you, hallelujah, so that you can know, my God, what is his rules, what is his kingdom, or what his kingdom rules is all about. And I want you to understand, hallelujah, my God, the white throne judgment is not the, the believer judgment of himself. It is now the king himself, the father, the, the, the father in the gold head. The father is coming now with his team. He's coming with all the righteous. And he's coming, my God, to tell you where you went wrong. He's coming to make sure that you know the days and the death that you sin and the last day that your last breath left you. My God, what was good or what was bad? What was right or what was wrong? Whether you were in Christ or whether you were in the devil. Hallelujah. I want you to understand the white tone judgment. My God, I want you to know if you are in sin now, you are already in hell. If you are in sin now, if you are not living for Jesus and you're walking and living in unrighteousness, you are already in hell because you don't know the minute nor the hour. It is appointed unto every man who wants to die and after death comes the judgment. It means, my God, when you die, no one can, no one can pray you out of hell. When you die, no one can buy you out of hell. When you die, my God, I want you to understand there is no progress tree or how they call it that my God, that someone who has money can purchase you or buy you out of hell. It is appointed unto a man wants to die. And after that death, he will face the white throne judgment. Praise the Lord. Oh, your Quran of and the It have nothing as though he can come back alive in another body or in some, my God, reincarnation. It have nothing about he being reincarnated. The Bible don't teach that. I want you to understand it is appointed on command one to die. And my God, whether you're big or you're small, my God, I want you to understand, my God, if you die out of Christ, my God, if you die out of Christ, you will go to hell. That is the word of God. And when you go to hell, hell there is a prison. There is a prison there that keeps you until, my God, you will be taken from there. You will not be released. You will not be released. You will be resurrected from that prison. And you will be brought by angels in the presence of the Lord. So that God can tell you the reason why you went to hell. And the reason why you will live forever in everlasting torment. Where there will be gnashing of teeth. Where the worms don't die. Where there will be eternal, my God, fire and heat. And your body just can't die. I want you to understand listen to me somebody. It is good to live for God now. Mm 
It is good to live for Jesus now. It is a blessing, hallelujah. Blessed and holy is he that will take part in the first resurrection. For the second resurrection, there is no power, power by God, for you to be able to go in a place that you will feel comfortable. It is not about where you want to go. You have that choice now to determine or to decide where you want to go. Hallelujah. My God, under the believer's judgment of himself. So there is something in scripture that called the believer's judgment of himself. And my God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, I can see some people clapping their hands. There I can see hands. And Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. My God, boy, girls, sons, daughters. My God, man, woman, whosoever you might be, live for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to pause here at Christ being the judge in contrast. Christ being the judge of the judgment of nation in contrast to God the judge in the white throne judgment. So on next week, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My God, we will look next week at two different classes of people. And we will then look at, uh, and we will go on to look at some contrast. And I'm saying we will do that on Thursday. So on Thursday, we will continue. So this is part two of this message if you my god if you miss out thursday then you miss out part three so we'll praise the name of the lord so we hope that you took note hallelujah and you are understanding the difference between the judgment of nations and the white great white throne judgments Amen. praise the name of the lord Amen. believers we come on and for those of you that are on facebook the new christian ministry we have decided david that there is a lot of people out there that need my god to learn these things they love the lord they love the word of god but to be able my god to, to rightly divide it and and praise these events in its right place it's difficult for them because some my god there were some ministers and men of god they're willing they're willing they are probably well taught they are anointed and my god and they have the word but not everyone praise the name of the lord hallelujah not everyone praise the name of the lord is uh, Praise the Lord. Not everyone, praise the name of the Lord, is uh, hallelujah into astrology. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. I see Sister Jennifer is trying to get us. Can you praise the name of the Lord? Call Pastor Michelle's phone. I know if it's urgent. Can you call Pastor Michelle's phone? Praise the name of the Lord. I see you're trying to get us. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you try? Can you call Pastor Michelle's phone, Sister Jennifer? Praise the name of the Lord. She's going to take the call. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we give God praise and thanks to you. We thank God again for you in a special way. You know this morning we welcome all the children that are with us. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We want to do a little praying. And as we do some praying, praise the name of the Lord. We want to pray before we and release our folks that are on that are on facebook we want to do some praying before we release you praise the name of the lord sister jennifer she asks a please call her praise the name of the lord sister jennifer asks praise the name of the lord i don't know if maybe she's on and, and can't get in i don't know praise praise the name of the lord Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. So, folks, praise the name of the Lord. We will call. We will call. Praise. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, right now I cannot really um take call unless. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Well, I do. I don't know. I, I don't know how to do it. Praise the Lord. So, folks, bear with me. For those of you who are on Facebook, we just have praise the name of the Lord. Um, a little technical um thing that we'll have to work out here. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, babes, you just give a call and see if, um, praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, we give God praise and thanks again for each of you. We thank God for you in a special way. Now, what we want to do, it is we would like to praise the name of the Lord. We would like to, to praise the Lord. We would like to go into some prayer. For those of you 
who never accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as a personal and indwelling Savior, we would like you right now to just bow your hearts with us and say these words after us. Praise the name of the Lord. Say these words after us. Praise the name of the Lord. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we, thy servant, come before you, asking of you to forgive us for the many sins that you, we have committed against you in thoughts and in words and in deeds. Blood out my transgressions. Let your integrity and your rightness preserve me. For I put my trust and hope in you. Let not those that put a trust and hope in you be ashamed. Neither let them transgress without causes. Father, let your peace surpass it on understanding, which will abide within my heart. Lord, teach me to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Father, I commit my life unto you. In the name of your son, Jesus, I pray. And everybody shout, Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Can you just stretch your hands like this? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, your blessings be upon your people. Father, those who have given their life, Lord, I pray the Lord of God. Father, you will seal them with the power of your anointing and that your name will be glorified them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now I want to cut off Facebook a bit and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are moving from Facebook a bit. So those of you who are on Facebook and not on um, the Zoom, praise the name of the Lord. We are cutting you off a bit. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. We love you. And you can look forward in seeing us again on Thursday. And on Tuesday, we'll post our studies so that you will have our studies for your um, for references and for your information. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. We love you. You stay sweet in the Lord. Praise the Lord. All our Facebook friends. We love you. Praise the Lord. So we are all uh, all those that are on on Zoom. You stay on. Praise the name of the Lord as we continue to close off our service for today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we give you the praise.